Hi everyone, this is Jamie Coffey Reynolds. I'm one of your judges for this week's challenge, Return to the Classics. Happy 4th of July. I will be doing two separate uploads. This first one will be feedback for the grassroots contestants, and then the next one will be for the champion contestants. So let's get started uh, in no particular order. Amanda Hoffman, who skated to Capelia, as many of you did. Um, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, Amanda, let me just first say you have a naturally classic line, um, beautiful back, lovely arms, um, nice pointed toes, so that you can always go a little further. Um, I thought choreographically your moves were, were very balletic, but sometimes a little stop and start, I miss the flow a little bit. Um, overall, really, really a lovely classical skate and excellent Sinead turns <laughs> on your toe picks. And on the other side, I would say that for part of the challenge, you needed to establish a connection, and you gave us a story in the setup, but it didn't quite translate in the movement. So um, definitely work on being a little bit bigger with your movement. You definitely have technique, but think outside the arena that you're in, know who your audience is, and when you're playing to a partner or creating a relationship, even though that person's not there, you need to make sure that your gestures are, are big enough um, that it can be read, the story that you're trying to tell can be read. Um, but overall, beautiful skate, and I gave you three stars. Let's move on to Alana. Alana, Waltz of the Dolls. Really, really lovely physicality as far as being a toy doll. That's not easy to do, especially for a, um, a young person like yourself. And I thought you did a really great job with it. Um, in a classical piece, even though you're a doll, you need to make sure that you're pointing those toes um, and finishing all the lines with your arms. Um, this will come with time, so I'm not worried, but just take the note. Um, going forward. I thought the program was very cute, a great idea, a little repetitive in parts, um, you know, try to try to come up with some new steps. Um, and also you gave us a great story about maybe getting caught by the doll maker. And we saw it at the end, but I would like to have seen it throughout the program where you, you might have gotten caught. So we would have gotten that relationship where maybe he was coming and then you would have to stop and be a doll again. It didn't quite read. So make sure you're incorporating a relationship um, into the program. And I gave you two stars. Uh, Jade Esposito, um, Precious Coppelia program. Really, you have a really nice lyrical quality about your skating at such a, a young age. Um, you feel the music, which is not always inherent um, in someone as young as yourself. So that's wonderful. And also make sure that you're pointing your toes and extending um, fully. Again, this will come with time, but, but really be aware of it, especially in a classical program like this. Um, excellent throw of the bouquet. I completely got it. Um, and I think that was about it. I, I gave you 1.5 stars. I didn't quite get the relationship from you either, um, but overall I thought it was a really great job. And say hi to uh, Lake Placid for me. I have a lot of great memories <laughs> of skating there. So let's go on to Nanoha. Nanoha, I was pretty blown away by your work this week. I honestly didn't expect it. It was really lovely, and you you emoted so fully in your expression. Um, it was quite moving, and you can always go a little bit further, but I really thought that you were relating. I could feel that expression, that sort of young love. Um, you were being whisked away, and it was very... I was being carried with you, which is um, hard to do as a choreographer um, and a skater. Uh, and I would say there wasn't always like a classical line, but your commitment was so there. You were, you were in it to win it, for lack of a better phrase. So um, I also thought it was great that you reinterpreted um, the story. That's wonderful. And um, I, I got it. It came through perfectly. So I gave you 3.5 stars. Well done. Um, lastly, we have Victoria. Victoria skated to Giselle, which was a, a favorite ballet of mine, and uh, I thought you were—I thought you were lovely in, in a word. Uh, you have beautiful expression. Uh, the very opening line where you have your arm out um, in this beautiful extension—it was—it was just remarkable, and it reminded me a lot of Simone Grigorescu, who was very influential on me when I was a young skater. And um, if you haven't seen her skate, definitely try to YouTube some of her, her stuff. But it just was, it reminded me of, of Simone. And um, I think you have a lovely quality to your work, not just your own skating, but also your choreography. Uh, and uh, I 
think whatever you're doing out there in Iowa is right on track. Um, you have a lovely line. Careful with your torso, sometimes you, you get a little closed. We have some grand gestures and then sometimes it gets a little caught. So be aware of that and you'll see it, I think, if you watch your skating. Um, I lost the story a little bit in the middle of the program. Um, and then towards the end, I felt like you were throwing away some of the movement a little bit. Everything was very finished towards the start and then as time went on, it was just sort of like, oh, there's an arm, there's an arm. So make sure that you're consistent throughout however long the program is that the quality doesn't, doesn't dip. But um, overall, I thought it was really lovely. So um, I gave you four stars. All right, well done, grassroots. I can't wait to see your future work.